¿Qué es la que mi gente? Gran Pachillo here today bringing you a decklist for my favorite Digimon decks in the BT15 format and also the deck I've been most running in this format. The one I've been taking to all of my tournaments and also uh, I've been taking multiple first place tops with this deck. At some point I think I had like five consecutive first place among different local tournaments. Uh, this deck is really ha holds a space in my heart. I love the aggro play style. And also, it's one of my favorite Digimon pairings. Uh, it is the Numemon and Monzaimon deck. Uh, this deck also called the Uko Nume, Nume Monzai, and also the uh, sometimes the Gummy Bears deck. Uh, really is a strong aggro deck that pressures the meta into matching its speed, or they risk getting left behind by just the absolute speed that the deck carries, and also the Uh, threatening removal and stall options that the deck has uh, this deck is just really a, a fast powerhouse that really uh, as i said just pressures the meta into matching the speed or getting left behind uh, you got some returning pieces like uh, the rb1 monzaimon you got some new pieces like the numemon x sandy body and the monzaimon x sandy body and you got the holiness the holy slug himself platinum numemon Uh, so, that being said, let's get on with the deck list. For our DigiX, we are running four copies of Sunamon from EX4. Uh, this deck really is just the powerhouse draw engine of the deck. Uh, this this uh, inheritable effect gets triggered so many times in a single game, and also in a single body that it's ridiculous. Uh, the effect reads, uh, your turn once per turn. When one of your other Digimon Digivolves draw one, a key, it says other Digimon. So it has to be a Digimon that is not the one that has the Sunamon underneath. But uh, in this deck, you have so many things on the board, so many shenanigans uh, that consistently you can trigger this effect every turn. And also since you have uh, both Ukomon and Luiawara in this deck, You, you consistently have multiples of this Digi-Egg on the field that just uh, net you a positive draw of one, two, three cards. It's like the amount of draw power this deck has due to this Digi-Egg is just insane. And aside from this Digi-Egg, we are also running one copy of Tokomon from EX5. This is an aggro deck. You do want to run five Digi-Eggs. And basically the Tokomon is just like the, uh, it does provide some draw power. Uh, you don't really uh, see it much uh, triggering since you all, you all, most of the time you do want to attack with your Digimon. Uh, but it does read uh, Undeletion, if it's your opponent's turn, draw one. Uh, we went with Tokomon uh, because it, it can get you that uh, plus draw one. You don't want to use Pagumon because you do run cards that are not black in this deck. Uh, Pagumon just reveals the top and if it's black uh, Digimon, it gets added to your hand. If, and if it's not, it goes to the bottom. You don't want to be bottom decking your important pieces, which are like the level fives, the level sixes, uh, your options, your tamers. You really don't want to be uh, wasting any cards uh, due to bottom decking. Uh, so we went with a Tokemon for its Unleashion. Uh, sometimes you can bait this out if you have an Ukomon on the field. Uh, primarily your opponent's targets are going to be Ukomon just for removing it from the board and kind of delaying your plays. So you can kind of bait it, bait out the draw if you need to with an Ukomon or uh, just a uh, uh, rookie on the field. Uh, but yeah, we're running five DGX, which are four Sumon and one Tokemon. For our rookies, we are running a variety of rookies. Uh, we are running four copies of the promo Ukomon. Uh, this is the powerhouse uh, rush uh, enforcer of the deck. Uh, he is the one that lets you cycle all, all of your DGX fast and also set up uh, gain memory. Uh, continue setting up and back if you need to and just overall keep extending your plays uh, the effect reads uh, your turn once per turn when one of your digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area you may hatch in the breeding area then gain one memory uh, 
keep in mind that Ukumon does see himself uh, leaving the breeding area to the battle area, so he himself triggers his own effect. Uh, but basically, uh, if Ukumon comes from raising to the battlefield, uh, you will be able to hatch and gain one memory, which uh, lets you uh, gain that extra memory uh, that lets you do some of some more flexible plays and also lets you hatch to keep the aggro going each turn because each turn you'll be able to uh, move a Digimon from the breeding area to battle area and then uh, you can keep this cycle going of just every turn promoting a rookie uh, from the battle area uh, and in combination with Louis Owada you do get uh, sometimes you do get a ridiculous amount of memory with Ukumon and Louis on board alongside the other rookies on the on the build which we'll be talking about in a little bit for our next rookie we're running three Chikrimon from the st13 uh this is just uh one of the strong flood floodgates the uh, we have to combat the uh some of the more problematic cards which are death x uh we also have uh we can stop a blue flare and some hunter uh, shenanigans uh but yeah we we run this at three mainly to keep uh death x at bay we do kind of flood the board at some points of the game that sometimes we have five bodies easily on the field which with maybe one or two tamers uh with uh, death x mon just eats for for breakfast lunch and dinner if we don't if we don't have the chikurimon in play uh but yeah we we're mainly just running it for that purpose uh it's also one of the strongest floodgates uh for uh in the game currently uh but yeah uh, we are running three chikurimon next we're running two copies of dorumon from uh which is this is a promo dorumon uh this is an x antibody uh digimon it'll make sense later uh why we are running two uh rookies that are x antibody uh, uh this digimon is mainly used for a security effect uh it doesn't have any other effects beside it uh, it reads at the end of the battle reveal the top card of your deck if it's a black Digimon card with a play cost of 4 or less, you may play it without paying the cost and add the remaining cards to your hand. So if you didn't play anything, uh, you just add the card to your hand and then you also add the Dorumon to the owner's hand, which can sometimes give you that extra rookie you needed in hand or just uh, get you the pieces. If you didn't play anything, you just get a piece and sometimes it is a valuable piece that you could use in the next turn. Uh, so we are running two of these. And as I mentioned, the X-Antibody tag uh, for the trait will be uh, something important in, for some pieces of the deck, so keep a lookout. I'll be sure to mention it when it does come up, but uh, yeah, our next rookie is two copies of the ST-16 Gabumon. Uh, as you may notice, uh, he has the special uh, Digivolution box, the black box Digivolution, which is... Uh, Digivolve on top of Sunomon for zero cost. Remember that we're running four Sunomons? Well, yeah, we are running two of these Gabumon, which can, e even if the Sunomon is a black color, it, uh, this pr uh, purple Gabumon can go uh, on top of it because it only looks at the name. Uh, it has the effect of start of your main phase. If your opponent has a Digimon, gain one memory. Sometimes that extra memory is really important to extend your plays and also you have the we won't be triggering the inheritable mm, Most of the time like 95% of the time the inheritable won't get to trigger uh, But uh, it has the inheritable effect of when attacking was per turn draw one then trash one card in your hand uh, I mentioned 95 90% of the time because we are running our surprise friend over here the uh limited gabumon x sandy body from ex5 we're running one copy which is the copy we are allowed to run because of the limit uh basically we uh this Digimon also has the special digivolution box of digivolve on top of tsunamon for zero and and it can go over gabumon for zero also uh that's why i mentioned uh 
that most of the time you won't be using the inheritable effect of the Gabumon, but if you do have this card, you can Digivolve on top of it to do its effect and then use the inheritable to keep cycling your hand. Uh, but the has two effects. Uh, I mean, two triggers. The on play when Digivolving is the same effect. Uh, you get to reveal the top four cards of your deck and add two cards with Garumon or X antibody in their names among them to the hand. And you place the rest at the bottom of the deck. And if you added cards, trash one card in your hand. Like this card is so absurd that you get to uh, choose anything from your deck that has X antibody in its name. Uh, you get to search out your new mnemonic antibody, your monzaemonic antibody. You get to search out your protoforms, like uh, your X antibody protoforms. Like this card is so good. And besides adding cards to your hand, you get to trash one card in your hand, which most of the time you want it to be a platinum numemon to get that set up with the numemon X antibody to then play out the platinum for free from your trash. So like this card in general is really strong in this deck. Uh, sometimes you just can't really find your X antibody pieces and this just uh, searches uh, so good uh, like I've had times where I've even grabbed two cards from its effect at the same time be it uh, the Numemon X antibody, the Monzaemon X antibody, the protoform uh, like it's so good and it, you can also uh, since you it has the black box digivolution you can digivolve it in the back. If you don't need the effect or if you just need a rookie in back, you can just uh, put it in the back. Uh, keep it, you won't be able to put it on top of Tokemon, but we're just running one Tokemon. We're running four Sumon. So I, I've never really had a moment where I've needed to put this Digimon in raising and I've just had a Tokemon. I've always been able to put it on top of the Sunamon. So like the fact that this Digimon just searches so wonderfully, uh, like you gotta admit, like, there's a reason why it's limited. Uh, like, it's such a good searcher, and among it, and inside its deck, it also had the protection. But we're not gonna touch that uh, in this deck list. Uh, we just uh, the searching, the search power, and the draw power. Of this deck is just wild. For our champions, we are running. Four copies of Geremon uh, from BT11. This card is also treated as Numemon. Uh, so for any effects that uh, need Numemon or Numemon in name, you will be able to play out this Geremon or use the Geremon to trigger the effect because it is treated itself as a Numemon, although it is named Geremon. Uh, but this is one of your main draw engines and draw and discard engines. Uh, on play by trashing one card with Numemon, Sukamon, Nanimon, or Etamon in its name in your hand, draw two. We only really care about Numemon in this deck, so you will only be trashing cards with Numemon in name. Uh, most of the time, you uh, in your opening hand, you do want to see uh, preferably Ukamon, but another rookie and this Garamon uh, in hand, like. A rookie, preferably Ukamon and Garamon in hand, like is such a banger starting hand because you can just Digivolve him back into Ukamon and casually just throw out the Garamon to the field to discard something, draw two. And then next turn, you promote the Uko, gain memory, uh, hatch again, throw another rookie in back, and then you can, if you have it, go into the Numemon Exani body and then draw again and draw for the Digi Egg or go into the RP1 Monzaemon. Like, uh, this card is really what you want to see in your opening hand. You've also got uh, four copies uh, of the Numemonic Sandy Body, who would have guessed. Uh, this card really is one of the cards that really pushes the power level of the deck to its highest. Uh, it, it can it has a black box uh, Digivolution that uh, you may Digivolve on top of any level 4 Numemon without the X Sandy Body trait. So basically, any Numemon except this one. Uh, it has the effect all turns while Numemon or X Antibody is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards. It gains on the lesion. You may play one Digimon card with Numemon as name from your trash without paying the cost. So, meaning it doesn't rig it doesn't say a Numemon that is level uh, five or lower or 
that is uh some dp through some dp uh, of power you get to play any numemon card that uh from your trash which most of the time will translate to you playing out a free level 6 platinum numemon from your trash to the battlefield and then platinum will get you that extra two memory uh from its on play effect uh this is mainly you can use this effect uh if it gets deleted on your opponent's turn to possibly steal your opponent's turns in combination with platinum numemon or to just uh if you don't need platinum and you're in a good spot uh you just need cards you can also if you digivolve uh, let's say turn one you play the garamon next turn you digivolve uh garamon into numemon x antibody swing have it get deleted uh, via battle and then bring back that garamon that you uh that just got deleted and keep cycling your deck to kind of get that extra drop extra drop power extra pieces in your hand and the pneumon x, x antibody also has the same effect on its inherited effect but it's unconditional uh you don't need a uh, pneumon or x antibody in, in uh, the evolution cards or anything it's just a uh, generic on deletion you may play one digimon card with pneumon its name for trash without paying the cost uh this is essentially what makes the card really strong especially when you can just uh, ram it into security or just uh, have it being a, a blocker with some of, the, some of the effects in the deck or just slot it uh, under one of your uh, stacks that may seem problematic to your opponent so you can force out that deletion. Uh, this card really is uh, one of the powerhouses in the deck and you definitely, definitely need four copies of this in your deck. For our next champion, we're running two copies of Numemon from BT14. Uh, we are playing Satsuki Tamahime in this deck. Uh, this Numemon is basically on playing when digivolving. Yeah, by placing one Satsuki Tamahime from your hand, that's its Digimon's bottom the illusion card. One of your Digimon gains rush for the turn. A uh, key uh, part of this effect, it's one of your Digimon gains rush for the turn. It doesn't have to be this Digimon. It is one of your Digimon gains rush for the turn. Uh, uh so essentially uh you play mo most of the time you will be giving rush to this same card uh you won't be giving rush to anything else uh but you'll be playing out this numemon slotting it uh slotting in the tamer uh underneath the tamer itself uh, satsuki gives any card with numemon or monzaimon when it's mind linked uh jamming and reboot so you essentially get to slot the tamer underneath swing uh rush with jamming and then at the end of your turn you can remove the satsuki from sources and play it out to the battlefield uh so that way you can then use her effect uh next turn to gain one memory if your opponent has a digimon on board and also reuse its mind link to give jamming uh and reboot to something else uh but usually this card is a finisher or an opening uh, if you if you didn't get a Garamon, but you got Numemon and uh, Satsuki in hand, you can go Rookie and then play this out the field to then just play out a level 4 and play out the Tamer for free basically by ending the Mind Link. Uh, so basically this is either a starter or a finisher. You don't really want to see it uh, mid game. Uh, but keep in mind you can also bring this back from the trash with your other effects like Numemon X Antibody or Platinum Numemon uh, to basically bring this out for free and then slot in the Sasaki to gain Rush. Uh, so keep in mind you can do those type of shenanigans but if you don't have it in hand and you have it in trash you can use another effect to just play it out from your trash and then you uh, place the Sasaki and go Rush. Uh, sometimes it is like the Numemon Satsuki for a game uh, because of the inherent uh, power that Rush gives you. Uh, and it also has the inherent effect of blocker. Uh, we do sometimes want to set up some blockers, especially if we have the Numemon X Soundy Body uh, inherited effect or the Alterance effect uh, because uh, we can basically force the deletion of our stacks or we can just have overall protection from getting rushed uh 
uh, by having a blocker on the field. And remember that Sasaki does give you reboot, so you can swing on your turn, let's say with a, a Bonsai Mon or Platinum, you can swing and then with jamming it'll survive and then if you don't need like the if you if you're not worried about satsuki uh getting removed from sources or getting your stack uh like bounced or bottom decked you can slot in these uh you can keep the satsuki in sources without ending the mind link and just give it reboot and blocker so that way you can sometimes you do have to sacrifice your satsuki uh, but the overall, the on deletions in this deck can heavily outweigh the deletion of a single tamer. For our last champion, we're running three copies of the RB1 Numemon. Uh, this Numemon reads on deletion, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one card with Monzaimon in its name, and one card with Numemon in its name among them to the hand. Place the rest at the bottom of the deck in any order. So basically, it'll grab any piece any two pieces from your deck that have monzaimon and numemon keep in mind it has to be one each it, it can't be like two numemon or two monzaimon it has to be one monzaimon and one numemon uh but uh this uh sometimes you do want this uh as a searcher or for example i use this sometimes uh with the leviamon matchup uh he forces you to play out a level four lower digimon uh, with the Water Seedramon or the, what's it called, the Dragomon. Uh, you, they don't activate on plays, so uh, you can just bring out this Numemon. It'll most likely get deleted and then you can just use the search power to then come back next turn with a clapback uh, because you found your pieces. And also, it has the opponent's turn effect. Well, this Digimon has Monsaimon or Numemon in its name, it gains Blocker, this is an Inherited Effect. Uh, same uh, logic with the other Numemon, uh, it gives Blocker to your stack, that way you can kind of force out your deletions or just keep, uh, keep yourself from getting outpaced, which most of the time doesn't happen, but sometimes you do need to get a bit defensive, so Blocker does uh, sometimes come up in this deck. For our ultimates, we are running four copies of the most important level five in the deck. Uh, Monzaimon from RB1. Uh, this card is so strong. Uh, the control over the board it, it has like so good. Uh, it digivolves for three costs on top of a level four with Numemon and name, which is the entire level four roster of our deck. Uh, this reads uh, on play. By placing one Digimon card with Numemon and its name from your trash, as this Digimon's bottom Digivolution card gained two memory. And also it has another on play and one Digivolving effect. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3000 DP and gains security attack minus one until the end of their turn. Important, their turn. Uh, basically, you can even, with some effects, you play this out for free, with, mainly with Platinum Numemon's effect. Uh, like, the fact you can just play this out for free, trigger both of its effect to control your opponent's memory, sometimes stealing their turns, and also giving something minus 3000 and security minus, you can delay some of their checks or remove some of the pro pro problematic flo floodgates. Uh, you can also just uh, sometimes hard cast this without any issues. Let's say your opponent sets you to 3 memory, you have a Numemon on the trash. You can play this out. Uh, you'll pay 7, but you'll get 2 memory back. So this is essentially a 5 cost level 5, which both... Uh, it re reduces basically the cost by getting you memory and can help you control the board. So the, this is really good, especially if with the effect you slot in the Numemon X Dandy Body, because then you basically say to your opponent, okay, so I'm controlling your board by uh, giving you minus 3000, maybe removing a floodgate and, and, and or giving something security attack minus and minus 3000 DP. And I've also got the on deletion of the Numemon X Dandy Body underneath me. So if you remove me, I will be able to bring back that platinum for free uh like this card is so so strong like it's 
it's amazing. And on top of that, you get the inherited effect of your turn. Will this demon have Monzaimon or Numumon in his name? It gains security attack plus one, which just uh, given that you have both the Monzaimon X antibody and the Platinum Numumon, you can just uh, consistently uh, keep checking for two checks with your stacks because of just this card. Like this card does so much work in the deck. It is an a must have four of in the deck. Uh, definitely the BT14 Monzaimon doesn't even touch the tip of the toes of this Monzaimon. Like this card is so good. Next up, you have four copies of the other important level five in the deck, Monzaimon X Antibody uh, from BT15. Uh, it Digiball for free on top of a Monzaimon without X Antibody. So uh, it'll be both Monzaimon or Waru Monzaimon because it is Monzaimon in name. Uh, it has the, the effect when Digivolving. If a card with Monzaimon in its name or X antibody is in this Digivolution, is this Digimon's Digivolution cards, you may play one Numemon. This is Numemon, so you won't be able to play out the X antibody Numemon. Uh, or a level 3 Digimon card doesn't require color, just whatever level 3 Digimon card you want to play, you may play it out from your hand without paying the cost. This uh, And... It has the all turns once per turn effect. When one of your other Digimon is played, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2000 DP for each of your Digimon until the end of their turn. Another key important fact, it is until the end of their turn. So with all the minus DP reduction you have in this deck, you can keep stacking debuffs on top of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, even if they are protected for that turn, uh, let's say, uh, on their turn, they won't be able to protect themselves. Uh, all of that minus DP will fall uh, on top of the, the stack and it'll just decimate whatever it finds. Uh, it, it's also a good answer to any Arbor deck because uh, Armor armor Foreign Digimon and Armor Purge Digimon can't really answer minus DP. Uh, like, this card is so strong. This is one of the... Uh, the strongest removal in the deck because not only is it one of the strongest types of removal in the deck in the game which is uh minus dp uh it's also you can also use its effect consistently it's also all turns so even uh, if this is on the field and you get to trigger one of your platinum on or your pneumonic antibody effects you will be able to trigger this effect on your opponent's turn which is just ridiculous <laughs> So basically this card is such a value engine you get not only do you get a free body to the field which sometimes may be a level 4 which will get you extra value or a level 3 to the field for free you also get to give uh, give one of your opponents Digimon minus DP which most of the time it'll be 8000 10000 DP like easily and Combined with the Monzamon uh, from RB1, which gives uh, another uh, minus 3000, or the Waru Monzamon, which uh, digivolves your opponent's Digimon, so that way it, uh, the DP gets lowered. Like, this combination is just insane. This card is so good. Uh, keep in mind, this deck also runs the Protoform X Antibody. So you will be able to go in f directly from your level fours into this and trigger this effect with the Protoform X antibody. Uh, it's just so, so good. And lastly, as I mentioned, uh, Wado Monzaimon, we are running two copies of it from uh, the BT-15 Wado Monzaimon. Has the same uh, as uh, the Monzaimon, which did Digivolve for a three cost on top of any Numemon in name. Uh, it has the on play and when Digivolving. Uh, by trashing one card with Numemon and its name in your hand or this Digimon's Digivolution cards uh, key uh, text in that effect hand or Digivolution card so you can remove a Numemon from the Digivolution card if you don't want to trash something in your hand you get to D-Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon the Digivolution is also uh, one of the other strong uh, like very strong removal types in the deck and the like entire game uh, the Digivolve by itself doesn't remove stacks, but it does make it easier with other effects. Also can disrupt your opponent's uh, game plan. And it also has the on play 
at the other on play by placing one card with Numemon's name from your trash as this Digimon's bottom delusion card until the end of your opponent's turn. None of their Digimon with play cost five or less can attack players. So basically, you get a free uh, anti rushdown, anti aggro uh, effect to the field. Basically, you delay any any hybrids that cost five, any rookies, any level fours that cost five or less. It just stops the opponent's game plan. Just dry in their tracks. Like uh, this effect, like the utility of this effect doesn't come up too much because most of the time you are outpacing and out removing your opponent field, uh, opponent's field, but the fact that you can delay your opponent's uh, answers and even uh, delay their lethal plays because if you don't have any blockers but they have a rookie in the back you can just uh, throw this down sure you give them uh, sometimes you do want to throw this down with the effects of platinum numemon or so to avo avoid pain seven for this card but uh, essentially, you can just stop them from ending your game or just disrupting your plays with uh, the secondary on play. And it has the same uh, inherited effect as the other Monzaemon from RB1, which is if the Digimon has Monzaemon or Numemon, it gains security attack plus one. Uh, this is really your secondary level five. Mo uh, like, a lot of the times, you'll just want to be Evoing on top of your Monzaemon. Uh, but. Uh, Sorry, you you want to be evoing uh, on Monzaemon RB1 instead of the War of Monzaemon. But uh, given that it does have the same uh, inherited effect as the Monzaemon and the Digivolve is really good disruption for your opponent, uh, we run two copies of, the, of this card just to uh, have some options to our disruption game plan. Now for our Mega Digimon, we are running four copies of platinum numemon from bt14 uh i did try uh lowering the count to three but i i want this card like so early in my game plan i want this card in my trash uh i boosted it up to four because i always want to see it like uh in my trash or sometimes i even want to like evo into it uh to just uh trigger its effect and then just go two checks uh, it'll uh, get deleted most likely and then I'll get to triggers on deletion uh, but the card is so good if you look at the card without reading much you'll say oh a level 6 with 9000 DP uh, whatever uh, but the fact that uh, let me read the card it's it, it can digivolve on top of any level 5 with Numemon and Mozamon and name for 3 uh, it'll digivolve on top of yellow and, and black for 3 also uh, on playing when digivolving, by trashing one card with Numemon's name in your hand, gain two memory. Uh, so essentially, if you digivolve with it, you, it'll cost you only one memory to go into a level six, which then sometimes you can uh, use it as a catapult to go into your level seven. Uh, but the the key here is that with the effect of the Numemon X antibody, you'll be able to play this out for free to the field and triggers on play to either gain two memory on your turn or steal two memory on your opponent's turn potentially uh, stealing their entire turn uh it also has the on deletion you may play one level five or lower digimon card with numemon or monzaemon and its name from your hand without paying the cost so essentially if you have both this and numemon x antibody you get to play out uh, you can even play out this uh, keep in mind if you uh, if you play out this exact platinum new one copy that just got deleted before you trigger its undeletion, uh, you won't be able to trigger the undeletion because it is, it is no longer in the trash. But you can uh, alter the uh, the order of effects to if you have both uh, uh, Numemon X antibody and platinum Numemon, you can activate platinum Numemon on deletion first, play out most likely a Monzamon for free to gain two more memory. Uh, give something minus uh, security attack and minus 3000 and also set up uh, with an, an X antibody uh, platinum uh, or a blocker an, an X antibody Numemon or a blocker Numemon underneath 
but then you also be able to play out this exact Platinum Numemon or another Platinum Numemon that you had in Trash for free with the X Antibody effect to gain two more memories. So essentially, if you trigger both of these effects in combination, the Numemon X Antibody and the Platinum Numemon, you'll be gaining four memory total. Uh, this could be on your opponent's turn, which stealing four memory from your opponent, like really? That is a game ender sometimes, a plan ruiner. Your opponent is just gonna be like, well, I guess I'll just stay with my half-baked plan, uh, my half-baked stacked on board, I guess. And then you, you get to trigger its on deletion again, because next since you brought it back from the trash uh, on your opponent's turn, you'll be able to attack with it on your turn. So, like, this card is bonkers. Like the the amount of control this card uh, this uh, manip and manipulation this card gives you is so strong. Like the the amount of floating that deck has the the amount of of capabilities of floating bodies that deck has is so powerful. And this card just boosts along with Numana X, X antibody platinum just boosts the float capabilities to the max. We also got. Two copies of our girl Venusmon. Like, I I don't think I have to go over Venusmon much. This card is so so powerful at disrupting your opponent. Uh, you'll notice a trend here that all of our level six and seven Digimon, their sole purpose is to disrupt your opponent. <laughs> Venusmon here has the when digivolving all of your opponent's Digimon gains security attack minus one until the end of your opponent's turn. So they won't be able to do any checks unless they have uh, some uh, some modifiers of their own. But it has the powerful opponent's turn. All of your opponent's Digimon with security attack can't attack this Digimon and can't activate any when attacking and when digivolving effects. So on top of you controlling their uh, ag aggressiveness by giving them minus security attack one, uh, none of their Digimon will be able to trigger when attacking or when Digivolving effects. That's wild. And on top of that, they can't even attack your Venusmon if the Venusmon is suspended. Uh, like they can't even uh, attack, choose it as an attack target because they have a security modifier like this card is so good at just disrupting your opponent and even setting up for your lethal next turn because let's say you had a really powerful board you rush them down to like one security or zero security you couldn't close out on that turn and you know your opponent is gonna come back with the clap back on the next turn you evo into venusmon and their entire game plan just goes down the drain because now they won't be able to trigger any of their effects unless they have any on play effects, which you'd need to either remove Venusmon from the field. Keep in mind, you will still be you will still be affected by the security attack minus. But you basically force your opponent to remove your Venusmon with an option card or an on play effect, uh, which essentially uh, like 90% of the time when they use a, an option card or uh, an on play to remove a level six Digimon, they will pay so much memory that it'll go back to your turn either way. And next turn, you'll just get to hammer them down with the rest of your board. Like Venusmon is such a, like a disruption tool. Like she's so disgusting in this deck and i love the card in general like it's so disgusting we're also running one copy of azulongmon ace uh this card uh, can take your opponent by surprise keep in mind we we are running four yellow level fives uh this demon can blast ace uh blast counter uh blast evolve when your opponent attacks uh, you have the on play when digivolving return one of your opponents level 5 or lower digimon to the hand Then unsuspend one of your digimon with the deva four great dragons or four sovereigns trait <sighs> Let's say uh, I, I've used this card against uh, some matchups like shine Greymon, uh, red hybrid blue flare 
uh, let's say your opponent uh, swung, uh, for example, a red hybrid set up a flame mon with inherited on deletion and a Agunimon uh, with the on deletion in back and then promoted and then swings at you to potentially trigger both of those on deletions and get more value. As Oolong Mon just says no, put it back to your hand. Uh, I will also unsuspend potentially have blocker with the uh, BT14 Numemon and uh, you lost all your value basically and then uh, in Shine Greymon if they swing with the Marcus to evolve that Greymon into a level 5 Rise Greymon uh, the same applies it's just uh, okay you swing you swung at me with your Marcus I will go ahead and bounce uh, your level 5 that you just uh, evolved into and uh, potentially have blocker uh, so uh, haha, I guess uh, like it's so sometimes it'll it takes your opponent by surprise and it's so disrupted that you basically just uh, delayed their their game plan by two turns uh, it does have overflow minus four keep in mind when this card is removed from the battle area or under a card to another area you lose four memory uh, but you do have the on deletion if this Digimon is deleted uh, You trigger the on deletion delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the highest level So let's say they evo into a level 6 or 7 to uh, get rid of your board get rid of your stack As Ulamon just says, okay, I'll give you overflow uh, But I'm also taking you down with me uh, Come here. Let's both go to the trash like I run one copy because uh, most of the time you don't want to evo into this by itself unless you have four memory and you have the opportunity to uh, go for game by unsuspending one of your level fives uh, evo into the uh, evo into this unsuspend and then swing uh, I just run one copy but that one copy is so valuable so good and lastly for a level seven Digimon we are running only one copy of shine greymon ruin mode we all know this card is disgusting uh same uh the logic applies with venusmon uh, like shine greymon ruin mode if you evo into it most of the times you are delaying your opponent so much uh you're negating them from uh, moving that level three level four from raising to the field or you just removed everything uh on the field like it's, it's so powerful <laughs> It has the effect when digivolving and on deletion until the end of your opponent's next turn all of your opponent's digimon get minus 5000 dp uh basically you have a blanket effect on the board that gives your, your opponent's digimon minus 5000 dp if anything enters the board they immediately get deleted by rules processing they don't even get to trigger any of their on plays or anything they get deleted instantly by their by the rules processing due to how uh, DP reduction works. And also you have the end of attack of this Digimon. Uh, delete this Digimon and one of your opponent's Digimon and recovery plus one from deck. Then if you have a tamer in play, hatch one Digia card to an empty space in your breeder area. <laughs> like hello, you you're basically giving me everything I want from a level 7 in this deck which is board control heavy removal if i need uh, to remove a level 7 or level 6 and recovery and on top of that most of the time i'll have a tamer in play and i get to hatch a digia card to an empty space if i have it empty like this card is so good in this deck it is so disruptive to your opponent sometimes it just feels like a slap in the face of your opponent uh you don't you never want to disrespect your opponent never bm your opponent unless you're like close friends and you're just having a goof for your friends in the show on the, the local game store but like ruin mode is such a slap in the face to your opponent it's like okay i guess you won't be doing anything and that's it like it's so strong uh, we, we're only running one copy two copies felt clunky uh Keep in mind, we are an aggro deck. We most of our attacks are going to be with our level fours, level threes, and level fives. We uh, don't really want to have too much of a top end because it'll uh, sometimes break our hands. 
still we're just running one copy of Shine Grey Moon Ruin Mode. For our Tamers, we are running two copies of Satsuki Tamahime. Uh, she's the Digipolis uh, Tamer. Uh, she has a multiple effects uh, security. Uh, like all Tamers, she plays uh, herself out to the field when she is checked in security. Uh, she has a startup main phase. If your opponent has a Digimon, gain one memory. Uh, obviously, gaining more memory for your plays uh, lets you be more flexible and also potentially give you more uh, more uh, plays to end your opponent on that same turn. And she has a powerful effect of mind linking uh, with one Digimon that has Numimon or Monzaemon in its name or the Digipolice trait. Uh, you place a tamer at the bottom of the evolution card if there are no tamer cards and you have the inherited effect all turns well this demon has numimon or monzaemon in its name or the digipolis trait against jamming and reboot like giving your stack jamming is so good especially if you have a, a level 5 like uh, monzaemon x antibody or a platinum numimon uh, with uh, the inheritable of monzaemon or waro monzaemon that gives it two checks uh, giving two checks jamming on an aggro deck is so good. Uh, you can also give it reboot if you have the blocker Numimons underneath. And you have the end of all turns uh, and the mind link. You may play one Sasuke Tamahime from this most evolution cards without paying the cost. Essentially, you can uh, mind link, give something jamming, uh, do your swings. And if you want at the, ed at the end of your turn or end of your opponent's turn, remove it from sources and then play it out to the field for free. So that you can keep triggering the start of your main phase and then keep mind linking. Uh, like you can also use it as a finisher in combination with Numemon from BT14 to use the Numemon effect, just slot this underneath, give something rush, and go for game. Uh, like this, uh, that combo in itself is strong, and also the fact that you gain jamming uh, and sometimes people for your blockers is very powerful. We're also running two copies of Luyo Wada, the promo card. <laughs> Luyo Wada reads, uh, on play, you may move one of your level three or higher Digimon from the breeding area to the battle area. Uh, this is an optional effect. If it gets checked in security, you're not obligated to move that level three you have in racing to the field. Sometimes you don't want to move it because it'll get deleted. Uh, uh, but it also has a your turn effect. When one of your Digimon moves from the breeding area to the battle area, by suspending this tamer, gain one memory. Uh, keep in mind, like, if uh, there was a Digi Egg in raising and you Digivolved a like, level 3 on top of it, if you use Louis or Water to promote that level 3 to the battlefield, you will be able to instantly attack with that level 3. Uh, that is why sometimes you'll see the Louis for game, because you have a rookie in back. And it doesn't matter if that Digi Egg got hatched on that same turn. Uh, you'll be able to get, put Louis on the field, promote your rookie, gain one memory with Louis. So Louis essentially costs two memory only. And it'll be cheaper if you have more Louis on the field or if you have Ukomon on the field. Uh, but essentially you play this out for two memory. And then you have a free swing that you just got from your raising, which you can end the game with. Like this card is so good. Uh, and also if you're not using it to end your games like the fact that you can just put it on the board and then every time you promote and keep in mind you have Ukamon in this deck which lets you promote like really fast you'll be able to gain memory consists consistently and like it, it's just so good like Louis for game is so funny <laughs> like it's so good and we're also running one copy of our surprise tamer the bt9 cool boy uh it has the on play effect it's, it's a two cost tamer uh, it has the on play reveal the top three cards of your deck you add one digimon card with x antibody and its traits and one option card with x antibody and its traits among them to your hand and you place rex at the bottom of your deck and uh your turn when one of your digimon digivolves into the same level digimon with x antibody and its traits you may suspend this tamer to gain one memory and draw one like this card is so good in this deck. Uh, I only run it one because I don't want to be bottom decking everything. But uh, this card can just... I have had searches that you just pull out that Monzaemon Xanibody. You pull out that Protoform. 
you're good to go you can trigger that uh the your turn effect on the same turn that you play him out uh basically if you use protoform and uh, uh the cool boy effect uh when you're digivolving from uh your monzaemon you basically have a digimon that has uh if it get if it's gonna leave the battlefield uh protoform or uh, goes to security you gain a piece back uh you'll gain one memory and draw one like cool boy is so good in this deck uh sometimes you don't wanna you don't need to search for x anybody uh pieces uh, you already have them in hand or in trash uh so you don't want to be bottom decking everything but if you get this out early like you, since you're evoing so much uh, into Numon X Antibody or Monzai One X Antibody, you'll be consistently able to trigger the your turn effect of this tamer. You just gain one Marion, draw one. Like it's so good to extend your plays, and the fact he only costs two memory uh, to search potentially two cards is just really good. I only run one copy. I think two copies over saturated. And you don't, as I mentioned, you don't want to be bottom decking your uh, some of your pieces. Uh, but essentially, this is our tamer lineup: two Satsukis, two Louis, and one Cool Boy. For option cards, we are running only two copies of X Antibody Protoform. We don't need any other options in this deck. Uh, this is the X Antibody from EX Five. It reads. Uh, it has a rule which the name is also treated as X antibody and also uh, it has a bunch of different effects uh, let's go uh, over them uh, while you have a Digimon you may ignore this card's color requirements so you don't have to have the white color on the field it has a security effect of add this card to the hand and you have the main one of your Digimon without X antibody and its Digivolution cards may Digivolve into a Digimon card with the X antibody trait in your hand with the Digimon uh, Devolution cost reduced by one. If it did Evo, uh, place this card as its bottom Digivolution card. So essentially, you declare Evolution, uh, and then you declare Protoform, and then Evo, and if you did evolve into something uh, reduced by one, uh, you get to slot in the x Body Protoform as a Devolution card. And the effect uh, all turns, uh, the inherited effect, when this Digimon would leave the battle area other than by, by one of your effects from this Digimon's Evolution cards, return one Digimon card to the hand and place one X antibody on top of your security stack. So essentially, uh, sometimes you don't even need to reduce the cost of your Digivolution, you just want this underneath your stack because when the stack would leave the field, uh, you get to not only like uh, take one of the Digivolution cards back to your hand to recycle, you place this Protoform X antibody to the top of your security. So that way, uh, when your opponent checks your security, you'll be able to just get it back to hand, reuse it, or just like recover. If you don't have security, you can use this to just recover. Like it's so good that you're able to just uh, recycle your material and recover to this to your security. Uh, this card is so good. Uh, we're only running two copies. We don't want to oversaturate our deck. Uh, but two copies of this protoform is very strong in this deck. Uh, for our techs, uh, there, there, there is a tech that I wanted to mention. Uh, if you are running into a flood heavy or tamer heavy meta you uh in your local store or in online tournaments you might want to uh do the following tech which is to lower the level four count to 12 cards instead of 13 by removing one numemon from rp1 and adding a death x mon from bt9 uh, we all know that death x mon is very strong uh is a very some very loved, very hated card in the uh, fan base uh, for the TCG. Uh, it's basically just on play when digivolving, the digivolve one of one all your opponents Digimon, then delete all your opponents level four lower Digimon. So it's essentially a board wipe, and also end of opponent's turn. 
uh, you get to delete all of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest play cost. And on top of that, this Digimon reduces its cost by 3 for each Digimon and Tamer your opponent has in play. Uh, this can also help you in the mirror match. Uh, if you're against Numemon and they don't have HG Kurimon on board, you can just slot, uh, throw this down to the board and basically remove everything they have on the board. Uh, this card re is really strong, but uh, I haven't really found myself uh, needing it in my matches uh at least for my like uh tournament environment i haven't needed to like slot this actively uh against the other rush decks i can just outpace them or use my other removal uh or disruption like venus or ruin mode to just disrupt their plans without needing to uh lower my level four count to 12 to add this death x one but if I were to need uh, at some point to add Death X1 to the deck or any other option to kind of uh, control uh, that type of a uh, flood, I would add uh, Death X1. And now we have the budget decks, uh, healthy decks and healthy wallets. Uh, for budget, uh, you could remove two Venus Mon like. I, I would advise against this because Venus Mon is just too good, like absurdly good. But you could remove two Venus Mon, uh, the two that we are running, and just switch it with a Shin Monzai Mon from RB1. Uh, this is kind of a mini, a mini Venus Mon. And yes and no. Uh, Venus Mon currently has no replacement. Uh, the card is just that good. Uh, but I'll read the Shin Monzaimon. It, it reads Digivolve 4 from level 5 with Monzaimon or Numemon in name. And when Digivolving, you place all level 3 Digimon face down on top of their owner's security stacks in any order. Meaning, if you have a board for level 3s or your opponent has level 3s, they all get yeeted into security. Uh, and then all of your opponent's level 4 or higher Digimon get minus 3000 DP and gain security attack minus one until the end of their turn. Uh, you also have the when attacking by trashing one card with Numemon in its name and this Digimon's Digivolution cards, place one of your opponent's Digimon face down at the bottom of their security stack. So this card has a bit of control, a bit of removal, and you will be able to trigger like the level five inheritables uh, with this card because it does have Monzaimon in name. Uh, but I just found it too clunky to run uh, in the deck. I tried running him at two copies, tried running him at one copy. Uh, I just prefer the uh, Evoing into anything other than Shin Mon Zaimon uh, because Venus Mon is just so so strong or I just wanted the memory back from Platinum Nomomon to just uh, keep the offensive. Uh, but uh, if you do want to go budget, you can kind of uh, switch out the Venus Mons for Shin Mon Zaimon to kind of mimic that uh, minor security effect. Uh, and it does have a sort of chaos degrade effect, uh, chaos degradation effect uh, in its when attacking. But most of the time, you'll just be evolving into this and passing turn. So uh, if the stack survives, then you'll be able to use it. Uh, but sometimes you don't even want to use it because uh, you just want to end the game. You don't want to give your opponent. Uh, basically, it is a chaos of gray because you just send it to send their Digimon to security. Uh, but that gives you an extra check to deal with. Like sometimes you don't even want to like give them that uh, protection, that secure, that extra security that uh, you may have uh, just kept out and then gone for game. So, yeah, minus two Venus Mon plus two Shin Mon Zaimon. And also, uh, obviously, a very heavy wallet hitter, the Ruin Mode. I think currently the price is like 70, 80 bucks. Uh, like the card is just that ridiculous. Uh, if, you, if you weren't able to pull a Ruin Mode from EX4, you just don't have it for some circumstance. Uh, It'll never, it'll never be like a true replacement because again, the same case with Venus Mon. Ruin Mode is just 
in its own category of it has its own uh, like special effect that only it has but you uh, for a budget tech you could switch out the ruin mode with a omnimon merciful mode uh omnimon just when digivolving for each carbon mega in the traits in this emote the ocean card delete one of your opponent's digimon uh then place 10 cards your opponent's trash at the bottom of their deck in any order this is basically just a deletion uh deletion removal and purple hate in one card uh and also you get the start of your turn trash the top card of this digimon and if you do trash the top card of your bonus security stack so that way if you evolved merciful mode on top of a, a let's say a platinum and next turn you can just remove the merciful mode trash one security and then keep your platinum to potentially trigger its on deletion or whatever uh and sometimes you can uh delete two things with this because uh, let's say with a monzaimon or water monzaimon you add a platinum uh to its sources with the on play effects and then you evolve into another mega uh, level six and then go into the merciful mode you will be able to delete two targets because it now has two mega uh, digimon in in its traits uh but keep in mind it'll, it'll never never be a true replacement for ruin mode uh if you can like really try getting that ruin mode because it is it is a really powerful card in the deck and well guys that's it for today uh i hope you like uh this deck i certainly do it's one of my favorite decks in this format i've, a I've been able to steal a lot of tournament uh, tournaments with this deck and as i mentioned at some point i had like five consecutive tournament wins uh with this deck for this format uh the deck is just that good by uh of forcing your opponent to match its speed uh but i hope you enjoyed the content i hope this deck list helps you and if you did enjoy please leave a like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos come up we will be uploading uh digimon matches from our locals and also we'll keep uploading the digimon deck profiles so be on the lookout and as always, thank you for watching.